Hello world, Oluwa Tobia Falabi aka Dexasec again and welcome to my YouTube channel. On today's episode of Threat Intel Thursday, I'm going to be showing you how to use Shodan to hunt for compromised infrastructure. So first, what is Shodan? Shodan is a tool used by hackers, used by penetration testers and also security researchers to discover internet connected devices. And how it discovers these internet connected devices are based on the IP address or the operating system or any attributes that can be used to actually look up some of these internet connected devices on the internet. Shodan is actually a very, very powerful tool. And it is also very well known to be a hacker search engine. But in this use case, we're going to be using Shodan as a threat intelligence tool to identify compromised infrastructure and we'll do a bit of analysis as to why those infrastructures got compromised in the first place. And then I'll be providing some recommendations that organizations should actually take when securing their exposed infrastructure. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. So the very first step for us is to log into Shodan. So you can log into Shodan by putting the URL shodan.io and then you log in but if you don't have an account you actually need to sign up and you need a membership account to be able to um, search using queries like using advanced queries in shodan like we'll be doing on this video so the first thing i'll be doing is to log into shodan so you can do that by clicking on the login button and you put in your shodan username once you successfully signed up so username and then type in the password following successful logon to shodan we are going to go ahead to perform a search and the type of search we're going to be performing is an image search okay so on the on the upper tab you have shodan you have maps and then you have images so i'm going to go over to click on images And when this loads successfully, we are presented with some images of internet connected devices. You know, like I previously mentioned, Shodan is a search engine for internet connected devices. So basically any computer or any webcam or any IoT devices that is hooked to the internet and has an IP address, Shodan can actually go and search for those devices and return them as results, as we can see on the screen. A few examples of some of the things that, that are displayed on my screen include a webcam feed from only Lord knows where. And then you also have some remote desktop sessions on various operating systems of Windows, but that's not going to be a focus for this video. I'm just going to go ahead and query Shodan to find every instance where the keyword encrypted comes up oops i typed that wrongly just going to go ahead and correct that it's encrypted awesome and now we are presented with a couple of screenshots but i want you to pay close attention to this result right here so I'm going to zoom in on that a bit by opening it in a new tab. And on the new tab, Shodan actually gives details about the hosts. So in this case, the host's IP address can be seen at the top of the screen. And then it also displays the country and then also the city. It also gives you information about the organization that is hosting this server. And then to the right of the screen, you can see the open ports are displayed and more details about, op about the open ports is shown down. Um, it's port 3389, which is the remote desktop protocol ports that is used on Windows. And we can also see the operating system, the build of the operating system, and it's a Windows 8 machine or Windows Server 2012. Well, if you go all the way down, the screenshot actually shows that 
this host has been compromised and a compromised host is basically any computer that has been hacked by a cyber threat actor and in this case a cyber threat actor has compromised his computer and infected it with ransomware. The screenshot actually provides evidence as to the fact that this is a Windows Server 2012 machine, which is very, very well known to be vulnerable to a couple of remote command execution exploits like the Blue Keep and also Eternal Blue. And in this case, the ransomware variant that was used is the Loki Locker. And you can see over here, there's a message from the hacker and he says that the compromised, the, the administrator of the compromised machine should basically reach out to him in order for him to unlock or decrypt the ransomware. And yeah, that's basically how to identify a compromised host, a compromised infrastructure with the use of Shodan images. So now I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little more interesting and so that we can have a deeper dive into the analysis. So I'm going to type in another query and I'm going to put in here encrypted has underscore underscore screenshot one screenshot label. Blank. So what I've basically instructed Shodan to do is using the regular Shodan query, look out for this keyword called encrypted. And another key criteria is whatever result that has to be returned has to have a screenshot. And I am going to hit enter. Now, how this is different from the original query that I did with images is the images feature only shows me the images. It doesn't give me like a good analysis of the, for example, number of hosts, the countries that these compromised infrastructures actually reside in. But using this query, I have a lot more information. I can have a view of the top countries where there are ransomware infected hosts. According to Shodan, Russia tops the list. It also shows the top ports that are affected and also the top organizations and also the top products. Then we have the top operating system. And the top operating system, just unsurprisingly, is a Windows Server 2012. And I'm going to explain exactly why Windows Server 2012 or an outdated version of Windows is bad for you to use. To the right of the screen, you also have the host information, okay? Like the details about the host, the IP address of the infected host, and also the country and then the organization. And I want you to take a good look at this over here. You have the vulnerabilities, okay? This host has been identified to have a vulnerability called BlueKeep. And BlueKeep is a remote command execution vulnerability basically a type of weakness that can be remotely exploited by a hacker anywhere as long as they are able to reach a host. So that can also happen over the internet. So it is very likely that a black hat hacker or a cyber threat actor or a cyber criminal did a quick lookup of this host and then discovered that the host was running a Windows server or outdated Windows server version. And that version of Windows Server just happened to have the Blue Key vulnerability. And the server was also listening on port 3389, which is used for RDP. That basically explains how the attacker got initial access and then further went to exploit the computer by infecting it to ransomware. What are some of the steps that organizations can take to mitigate these types of security issues and also to prevent them from happening within the infrastructure? So first and foremost, it's important for organizations to patch outdated or legacy systems. And then the second lesson learned is that if you're going to expose a service to the internet, you need to ensure that you put in security controls like firewalls, 
in order to whitelist certain IP addresses from being able to reach especially remote ports and services. And then finally, it would also have been good if the organization whose infrastructure got compromised had an EDR solution in place, that's an endpoint detection and response solution that would have been able to prevent the ransomware from actually infecting the host. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video very insightful. Please do well to leave your comments in the comment section below. Do well to like, to share and also subscribe. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you again.